So one yeah. thing folks hit when they come to Swift for the first time, they're, they're learning on the go. Yeah, constants, brilliant. Arrays, brilliant. Enums, love it. Getting get so far. Loops, awesome. And then they come to optionals. And so yep. many people struggle with optionals, the concept of them, using yep. them, unwrapping them, force unwrapping them, implicitly unwrapping them, whatever. There's all sorts of complexity there. If, if you were sitting down with a learner today, they said, okay, yep. Chris, you invented this. How would you explain optionals to them? Yep. Um, so this is one of those cases where history works against us. <laughs> because uh, particularly when you're launching Swift into a world filled with Objective-C familiar people, Objective-C does not work this way. And you have pointers, and people conflate the idea of pointers and the idea of nullability with the uh, with optionals, which is how they get expressed when things get important to Swift. And unfortunately, that's absolutely the wrong way to think about it. <laughs> as, as Paul, I think you know, optionals are about, is something there or is it missing? Right? And so... The fu it really has nothing to do with pointers. Opt optionals have nothing to do with pointers from a, a conceptual level. But because of the way Objective-C worked and that kind of stuff, and because everything was a pointer, right, it really got conflated. To, to a new learner, somebody who is learning programming from scratch, I think that there's, in my mind at least, a pretty clear way to explain this. Um, going through your your trajectory of learning, learning programming and learning new language from scratch, you have to confront things like, okay, well, we have variables, we have control flow statements, ifs, things like this. We have imperative execution, we have functions. At some point you get to, we have arrays, right? And you start talking about this. The, the place optionals come in naturally to me is when you get to dictionaries. You say, okay, well, we have this thing. It's, in a, it's a collection of strings to things, what, whatever, whatever you want to use for your example. And you say, we can put a bunch of stuff in a dictionary. We could print it out. Oh, this makes sense. Oh, look, notice the keys and the values do not remain sorted. That's because how dictionaries work. And they say, let's get something out of a dictionary. But wait, what is that? It returns an optional thing. Well, what is optional? Well, the problem is the thing you look up in the dictionary may not be there. Hmm. And so what that's saying is it's either returning the thing that you asked for, or it's saying it's not there. And so what optionals are, is there a way of expressing hey, well, when you ask a question, you may get the answer back or you may get a nope. And so optionals are the way that Swift expresses that. And so um, I think the dictionaries are probably the first point in the, the trajectory of learning Swift that, um, that they're both easy to explain, relatively easy to explain, but then also they can make intuitive sense and put somebody on the right track of thinking about them as the presence or absence of, of, of a value. Now, when you, when you talk about some of the syntactic sugar and stuff like that, um, you know that's, that's another that's another place where um, the history of Swift interfacing with Objective C and C I think made the value of having a lot of sugar like the question question and the the optional chaining and all these things really 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 important and so um, just the prevalence of optionals and implicitly unwrapped optionals and all that complexity that came from the 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 grungy reality of having to talk to C and Objective C. Um, really made the uh, syntactic sugar important, and that added a lot of complexity to the language. And if if there were a world that was like pure and beautiful and had no compatibility constraints, we probably would have put less less of that sugar in, and that would have been easier to explain. But again, if you're talking about a new learner, you don't start with optional chain. <laughs> like you start with if let, and so if let is the thing you need to know. And that's enough, right? You can say it's like an if, and that has this behavior. It get, lets you see what's inside the optional. If it's wrong, you go to the else, and it's it's pretty concrete and pretty easy to explain. And then sometime later, you can explain uh, optional chaining and, and things like that in terms of if let and the and the other simpler constructs. So I remember explaining it to my my daughter when she was nine because uh, she was asking about optionals because she just playgrounds. And uh, my explanation mm -hmm. was about uh, presence. Uh, you know, a, a boxed present, and you can open the box and look inside and unwrap the present and look inside to yep. look at the present. But if you were to, if you had a present, someone would say, okay, here, uh, from me, here you go, Sophie. This is this is to give to your friend uh, for her birthday. You know, you give it to her friend, and you haven't checked inside. There's a present there. It could be empty. I'm being, I'm playing a prank on you. It's going to be a bad thing. And that's that's like force unwrapping the optional. You want to check inside there first carefully, <laughs> and then before you pass it on. And it, but it made sense. And once you go, oh yeah, okay, fine. And she moves on to the to the next thing. It just took a bit of time to get over it. And I think for a lot of folks, they get the idea of 
maybe, maybe not fairly quickly. But I remember the early days thinking, when do I want question mark? When do I want exclamation mark? You know, because you, yeah. need, you need both, at least in New Wicket land. Well, I'm, I'm laughing at you because I'm imagining, you know, Paul the father who his daughter understands the idea of like, I give you presents and sometimes there's nothing inside. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, what does it say about you and your relationship here, Paul? Yeah. I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, 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 so, it's so bad. So anyway... Uh, <laughs> 